What is going on guys? In this video, we're going to be going over how I take notes in computer science and some of the different ways and methods that you can take notes and implement into your study routine to improve your overall effectiveness when taking notes in computer science or any other subject at hand. My name is Bradley Allen and on this channel we go over important computer science topics with the purpose of making you more knowledgeable in the field and subject that matter. So let's get into the video. So there are three main ways to take notes in computer science. The first of them is paper. So I'm going to go over the five different methods that you can take notes on paper to improve your productivity and note taking skills. Okay, so the first method on paper is called the Cornell method. The Cornell method uses notes in the middle, keywords or comments on the left, and a summary on the bottom. This method results in a better overall comprehension on the topic at hand, and the systematic way for recording and reviewing notes makes it easier to understand major concepts and ideas, which is very useful in the field of computer science. The second method is called the outlining method. This is where you have a main topic and bullet points. Then under each of the bullet points, you have subtopics and subtopics under those. The outlining method is useful for minimum revision that, as it takes a lot of thought to create up front. But reviewing is very simple because since you thought about the information and organized it in a very specific way, reviewing it is very easy. The third method of taking notes on paper is called the mapping method. This method uses graphical mapping that will relate the information or facts to each other. The mapping method is almost like a tree with roots that support that main topic. The mapping method may be useful if you're a visual and creative person that enjoys seeing visuals in their notes. The fourth method of taking notes is called the charting method. This note taking method uses charts to understand and organize topics and subtopics. Think of an Excel spreadsheet with different columns and rows for organizing the information and then using that to compare and be able to understand it more in depth. This method can help track and compare different information. So throughout your notes, you'll have an easier way to understand and look over the information without it all being in its sentences. The fifth method of taking notes on paper is called the sentence method. This method is where you write new information, thought or fact down in a sentence form and use numbers and dashes as you go along. This results in a lot of information on the notes, but it's hard to review unless you're going over the notes again and fixing those cluttered points because all the information is on paper at once. So those were the five different methods that you could take notes on paper and each of them support your personality and how you like to take notes and study as a whole. So you have to go through, know your personality type and attach it to the type of note taking method for paper. The second way of taking notes is digitally. Digital notes can be useful in a lot of different ways. Having a tablet, phone, or computer on you at all times makes your notes available to read or go over anytime you want. So with digital note taking, there are a few tools that are added to your belt for better taking notes. The first additional feature that digital note taking brings is notes in code. As a CS major, you will have to code sometimes, I know. And having the ability to have code and notes on the same device and page is very useful as a computer science major. You will find yourself going over code line by line and if you don't know what's going on it's very hard to understand the topic having it all on one place is very useful the second additional feature that digital note taking brings is images so images can be added to your type notes with just a copy and paste button having the snipping tool grabbing a screenshot of some important graph or figure and putting it right into your notes is very useful and lecture slides can be embedded into your notes and this boosts your learning and has a visual aspect to your notes at all times and creates more understanding when you're reviewing. The fourth additional tool that digital note taking brings is less clutter. So notes can be everywhere if they're on paper and it's hard to keep track of where everything's at unless you're a very organized person. But with digital note taking, you can have everything on one device. And even if it's not on that one device, you can have it in the cloud 
or you can have it through a PDF and you can share through email. It just clears the clutter when you're taking notes and trying to review. And the fifth and final additional feature digital note taking brings is typing. Typing can improve your overall effectiveness when you're trying to take notes and you can get a lot down on a piece of paper when you're typing if you're a fast typer. And this allows you to go back through, delete certain things and change the font and change the font size and have bold without ever having to have an eraser or start over again because you use pen. So that was digital note taking. The third and final way to take notes is no notes at all. I could not leave this method out since there are a few out there who just intake information and learn without ever taking notes. This method involves listening to the lecture or reading the notes or the lecture notes and just ingesting it all at 100% at one time. This makes it so you do not have to go back over and review. Some personalities out there suit this method very well. Think of this method as taking the information as a story and connecting the different points by intellectually engaging in the material all at the beginning so you don't have to do it later. This leads to never having to take notes and just focusing on the material at that moment. Some love this method of taking notes because it's all mentally. You never have to touch a piece of paper or type on a keyboard and review your notes since you've learned it all at once and it's all notes in your head. Each note taking method has their pros and cons and it is up to you to take the one that fits your personality and learning type and put it to use. What I have found works best for me is the digital note taking method. With this method, I like to have all the lecture slides combine onto one PDF document. It's like a hundred slides. And then I go through and take notes over those slides. And so I have everything all on one. And when studying and reviewing, I'll control F and find the topic at hand. And I'll go through and just learn and review what exactly I need to know with my notes on the side. Comment down below the technique or method that you use or comment the technique that you're going to use from this video. Any of these methods can be implemented into your studies to improve your effectiveness. It's just how you study and finding the right one that fits your personality because with the right key to the keyhole, you will learn a lot more through the long run. Thank you guys for watching the video and if you learned something new, like, comment, subscribe and I will see y'all in the next video. Peace.